state of javascript everybody welcome back and in this video let's just go ahead and take a look at these top backend frameworks according to the state of javascript survey if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow let's go and start the first one that is the rankings so just like front end we have these four parameters according to which rankings are made the graphs are made and you can see down here which of them means what so satisfaction is basically people who answered would use again over total number of responses interest is something where they want to learn over total number of responses again interest is something i'm a little bit concerned about because this would not be the best metric for frameworks which are older usage again is would use again Again, would not use again by total not sure why this is included in the usage graph but here we are and awareness of course is people who have not heard or who have heard by total okay so satisfaction you can see that express is taking over that it was taking over that at least for the last three years not even for the last three years for the first three years 2017 to 2019 then there was a change Suddenly, Express was number two. Next Chase was number one in 2020. In 2021, Next Chase has actually taken a step down in terms of frameworks for backend. And this is interesting because Next Chase has been growing even then, right? So you can see there is not a significant drop in the percentage of satisfaction, but you can see there are a few new players, specifically the Svelte Kit. Now, Svelte Kit is a framework which is very popular among people these days with a 96% satisfaction rate. I'm yet to use Svelte Kit in any production level application personally, but seeing the support for Svelte Kit is definitely promising. And there's this fall over here from 92 to 91, which is not a lot in percentage, but it seems like it has dropped three frameworks down because of the you know the new players in the town astro is also an interesting framework which prioritizes speed over anything in today's time therefore it, it makes sense that this these are top one and top two now this this chart over here is a little bit on the side of full stack backend frameworks in a way because you can see with Svelte kit Svelte comes in which is the front end thing with astro you can pretty much mix and match anything with fastify fastify is again a standalone thing like express right a, a simple server for mostly creating apis and stuff and then you have nextjs which again is a full stack almost like a full stack framework remix again is a full stack framework then we have express which is not that full stack right again it, it can be used to create apis and stuff but it's not i won't say like it's a completely full stack framework in itself so the surprise over here is that satisfaction for express drop from number two all the way down below all these awesome frameworks. Is it time to drop Express or, you know, just leave it? Absolutely not, because you can see this chart of rankings over here is not completely fair in a way, because you are in a way comparing apples to oranges when you say Express and Next.js or Express and Svelte Kit, right? These are different tools, different things. Sure, you can build only REST APIs with Next.js as well, but you probably don't want to use Next.js. It's like an overkill to build a simple REST API infrastructure. It's probably best to use a framework like Express for that. Again, in trust on the other side, Next.js was the leader for that. It's no longer the leader in terms of in trust. There are a bunch of awesome frameworks, Remax, Svelte Kit again leading this one. And Astro. So not looking good for next years in terms of interest, but like I said, the usage has been growing, so it should not be a problem for them. So when we come to usage, picture get a lot more clear because these graphs have been consistent since a very long time. And you can see Express basically has been maintaining number one position in terms of usage for a very long time, which shows that on the back end, at least when you want to make sure of REST APIs and you want to make sure something is working, then you make use of Express. Something needs to work properly. Some REST APIs you, is something you're creating. You don't want to bloat or overkill your stuff expresses the answer next year's has been super popular since you know 2019 and 2020 and it has been growing the usage has been growing that's what i said gatsby i'm a little bit skeptical about it i have not been hearing gatsby a lot recently so i'm scared in terms of recommending anyone to use gatsby they do have a bunch of innovations and you know ssg and stuff going on but it has gotten very hard in the recent times because of things like remax and Vercel and you know all these swelt kid these things competing aggressively with each other for the market share of developers and i just don't see gatsby innovating fast enough to you know break through the noise next again as well not something i have spent a lot of time with but i 
no it's it's kind of like next year's for view and rest of the framework well kid it's gonna probably jump sometime soon because you can see interest and satisfaction are forward looking metrics right because you look up to them as user if you're interested then only you will use it and you know implement it on production and so on usage is a lagging metric in a way usage is something where you say that hey i have been already using it so it makes sense that swelt kit is a little bit lower because it's interest at the moment at least is highest right so maybe in the coming years we will see swelt kit actually take a spin up to top three top two spots and finally in terms of awareness as well not a lot changes at least in the top four five spots you can see remix makes a huge jump in terms of awareness because remix has been doing a lot of interesting things and comparisons with next.js and other frameworks it makes sense that people are aware about it right experience over time you can see express looking good fresh healthy there's a slight drop in the use it percentage but i don't see it as concerning at all i mean this is also it has also increased a little bit but i mean express js is fine but there is no i won't say that there has there's no alternative obviously there are but express has created that strong community and and that reputation in the framework itself that it's hard to beat now right so i'm i'm betting on express for a few more years until and unless we have some revolutionary framework which is absolutely like orders of magnitude faster than express and basically similar in api then maybe we'll have some competition. Fastify, on the other hand, you know, it's gaining traction, it's gaining that momentum, but see that 50% of the survey people have not even heard about Fastify. So that's something you will not see with Express. Express, you know, a lot less people are there in the wild who don't really know about Express and they are actually Node.js developers. Now let's come to the other tools section in the survey. I have absolutely no idea what this number one ranking thing is. I've heard about Koa a little bit, Koa and Meteor. Again, not a lot. I've not really worked with any of these three, four, top three, four. But of course, we have heard about our Dino, right? So Dino is another runtime written in TypeScript and Rust and you know, which tries to fix problems found in Node.js own runtime. So that's also something which people are aware about, which is good. And Dino is giving a good amount of competition and good amount of reason for Node to innovate, keep innovating and keep pushing forward. So that's awesome. Apollo server again is, is a popular backend server, especially if you are using GraphQL right so at codedam we use apollo server on the back end sure we use node.js that's absolutely required for apollo server but we use apollo server on aws lambdas right so it's good to see it here then white i mean white is a is, is one of the most important tools i believe today in terms of speeding up the web development world right so white es build swc these tools which are written in native languages in golang and rust these tools written in native languages which are pushing the javascript speed and ecosystem are going to be really really powerful and really really effective things in the coming years so make sure you're familiar with what these players are what they are up to in the space so that when time comes when it it is required in the industry and you know people just need it to speed up stuff you know how to use them and you can see a lot more people are neutral and happy than very happy or unhappy in the backend frameworks and my personal view is my personal opinion is that frameworks like next.js and remix are actually trying to actively solve backend programming alongside front end as well now some people might consider that as a good practice some people might consider that as a bad practice i don't know what, which one do you think both i believe have their own pros and cons if your backend lives with your front end it's hard to you know in some cases scale up for example you cannot independently scale your backend and your backend for compute and front end for cdns in case of next.js for example you are just restricted to the you know the serverless environment which they provide so far so things like these exist so for that you probably might need to spin up a full backend system one thing which i had i did not obviously i, I could not really expect it as well but one interesting platform which exists today is fly.io which i want to learn a little bit more about because what these guys are doing is that they are putting a full container on the edge a full compute execution unit on the edge instead of serverless functions or you know those fancy things which aws has already accomplished cloud functions and cloudflare workers and so on which are short-lived but can spin up a full environment quickly fly.io spins up a full compute node at the edge so 
that is something I want to get into a little bit once I get some time. So yep, as always, you can start learning backend web development on Codedam's full stack learning path. Obviously, we include a lot of these important frameworks. For example, in the Codedam's backend learning path, we go with Express. We have something interesting cooking for Remix, so stay tuned for that. And currently, we also go for Next.js, right? Because our full stack learning path uses React as the tech stack, currently do not support Svelte, Kit, and other non-react frameworks but we will soon so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you understood something new got to know the state of javascript in today's time that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code Dump's discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching